All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Lokakodash. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of Green Millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to Allah Akim doing and pushing his word, and all honesty, truth, and sincerity. Shalom Akim. Man, I should have just done a walk and talk, man. This fucking car is overheated. That's my reason there's fire trucks all up my street. And I hear more. I hear more coming. Fuck, who said something? Anyways, Slakia. So, um, so you see uh, whole Cat Malone on the screen there. And everybody's, you know, going into this topic, you know. Um, yeah, this 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 topic is like, you know, come on, man. Like they still they still nipping at this, you know, even though we we rebuke we rebuke them, okay, and set them set them right because we gave them the breakdowns, we gave them the the whole um, you know the whole uh, to deal with that situation, the whole deal with that situation, but they you know. They don't listen. They they'll, they'll reject. You know, this is these type of people. You tell them once, tell them twice. They're still not listening. You know, they're heretics, man. So here we are again. Some brothers have seen it. Some brothers haven't. Some brothers said, you know what? I'm gonna make a video on it. And some brothers just said, you know what? We've already made tons of videos on it. Okay, we're moving on. But you know, if there's a meal to be uh dished up, if there's a good meal to be uh, cooked up and served up, because you have brothers who are coming into this truth constantly, right, and you have brothers, well, let's just say it, you have people who are coming into this truth constantly, and people who are leaving this truth constantly, okay, so, yeah, what the hell is going on here, man? Yeah, there's some weird shit must have happened up the street there. Hold on one second. But I'm rudely interrupted here. So yeah, going back into this situation here, we're gonna read a couple scriptures. We're gonna read a couple scriptures and uh, you know, close the book on this one again. You know, and that's what we're here to do, defend the doctrine, prove these things. Prove all things through the scriptures, okay? And that's what we're here to do. We're not here to try and gain extra money, extra cash, um, asking you guys for money or cash or anything like that. Our job is strictly to do what the Lord has set us up to do, which is uh, proclaim his things, speak these words onto the people, give that edification, okay? So anyways, let me jump into this. Uh, let me jump into these scriptures here. And this is another thing that I want to bring out too. The Great Famine of China, okay? The Great Famine of China, that, 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 oh man. I, you know what? Let me just move on. I'm going to get tangled up here. Let me just do this. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and 9. The thing that have been, that is, uh, Slaki, it is is that which shall be and that which is done is that which shall be done and there is no new thing under the sun is there anything where whereof it may be said see this is new it have been already of old time which was before us so you see, the scriptures tell you there's nothing new underneath the sun. And also, too, the scriptures tell you that, um, you know, the, the, these souls, these spirits, you go right back to the Most High. And, you know, the Apostle Elder covered this. Um, other brothers covered this, dealing with this uh, so-called, quote-unquote, hell doctrine. Okay? You could go into um, this very same book here, Ecclesiastes, and you can find these out. I think that's chapter 12 and... 7, 3, and um, 20, okay, and there's another scripture too as well, 
but if if these souls, okay, as we already know that when the soul dies, the dirt, which is the flesh, goes back to the dirt, the ground, and the spirit goes back to the Most High who gave it. Okay, simple and plain. Now, Salakia, get out of my car. Now, where are these are these souls going there? Because the scripture clearly tells you that there's nothing new underneath the sun. Okay, nothing new, which means these spirits just as well, these souls just as well. They're here of old. Okay, they they lived, they died, onto the third and fourth generation, as the scriptures tell you. They're revamped. They're brought back up. Okay, they're resurrected in a sense. Okay put into a body, okay, a fleshly body, an earthly body, okay, and they live out their hell, they live out their condition here, okay, whatever condition that the Most High has put them into, okay, they live it out here, where they feel the pain, the pangs, all right, where, where they can uh, feel rain hitting them, where they can feel hunger, okay, and to show you that these spirits don't feel Let's go to Tobit, chapter 12. Um, let me get straight to the point. Right here, um, Tobit, chapter 12, and verse 15. I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels, which present the prayers of the saints, and which go in and out before the glory of the Holy One, then they were both troubled and, f and, and fell upon their faces for the fear. But he said unto them, Fear not, for it shall go well with you. Praise God, therefore. Okay, it's lucky. Oh, yeah, here we go. For not, any, for, not, for not of any favor of mine, but by the will of our God, our power, I came. Wherefore, praise him forever. All these days I did appear unto you, but I did, but I did neither eat nor drink, but ye did see a vision. Okay, so right there, it's telling you that these angels don't get hungry, they don't get horny, they don't have these earthly aspects like us, which pertain to the flesh. Okay. And when I mean the earthly aspects, I mean the, the things that pertain to the flesh, okay? Don't pertain to these angels. Getting sleepy, hungry, you know, you need a back rub, you know, when you get when you get in that mode, you know. This is an adult conversation, you get horny, you want to fuck your woman, all right? Angels aren't like that. Just like how they want to say that the angel came down, the angel them. The angel came down and got Mary pregnant. Get the fuck out of here, man. Okay? You know, if one angel could destroy this whole world, man. You know, you ever heard of uh, spontaneous combustion? That's the angel damn near zapping your ass. Just putting one finger on you, man. Probably down there spitting on your forehead. Boom! <laughs> angel is pure power, man. Okay? And you can't destroy it. The Most High won't destroy it. You can't destroy it. Okay. I mean, if he wants to put out a flame, sure, but it's a, 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 a part of him in a sense. Okay. So what, what, what madness, <laughs> what madness these people talk about is, is, uh, it's not even amazing. It's just goddamn. But like I said, an angel, okay, won't feel some sting, won't feel hungry. Won't feel like he needs to, you know, go take a shower, you know? Hold on a second. Yeah, when the angel, when did Raphael say, you know what, man? My feet feel dirty. Giddy up, time for me to go take a shower. You know, rub me my hot bath, my angel bath. Doesn't happen like that. But the spirit, the spirit gets incarnated into a fleshly body, okay? And where it may feel pain. Now, let's go into... um. Another thing that the brother, well, the individual on the screen there, ETT, because I, I recognize his face from time I've seen him. I said, that's a fucking end times teacher. I remember 
telling this guy the world ain't flat. And I proved it to him. Okay, I proved it to him without a shadow of a doubt. I went to Isaiah and there was a certain word in Isaiah that just trumped the whole thing and that was it. I proved it beyond a shadow of a doubt. Okay. Me and that brother had words back and forth, but you know, the way I see it is hey, the Lord can draw any man out of uh the vomit that he's in or the the pool that he's in, okay? Just remember, we, 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 hey, we're walking in hopes with faith and fear to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. We didn't mark our own end, right? We didn't, we didn't check mark our own end. Meaning, we didn't, we didn't create ourselves, man. So be humble, you know what I'm saying? Because we could say a lot about that individual, but you know, just be humble, you know, because we already know he, he goes way off with the flat earth doctrine and stuff like that. But Yahweh Shem Yahushai may have compassion on him and return him back to the true and rightful doctrine, okay? Where he may be speaking the right things instead of speaking about he thinks the earth is flat and all this stuff. But anyways, he had brought out this um, scripture here I'm going to get real quick, which is, you know, a point to be proven because... You know, these individuals out here, they come up with this bugged out shit, and it's just like, man, you need to study these words. You got to go into these words, man. First Samuel 60, uh, 28 and verse, uh, you know what? Let me just jump straight to the point. First Samuel chapter, uh, and if you don't understand this chapter, just please read the whole thing. You should have already. First Samuel chapter 28 and verse 18, because... Because thou obeyest not the voice of Yahweh, nor executest his fierce wrath upon Amalekite, the Amalekites, right? He 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 wanted to keep, you know, he wanted to keep back one per se. You know, this one's good. He's all right. He's cool. No, the Lord said, do him do him all away, kill them all. Okay, and he didn't want to do that. Anyways, let's get back to this. Um, Therefore, have Yahweh done this, done this thing unto thee this day? Moreover, Yahweh will, will also deliver Israel with thee into the hand of the Philistine, and tomorrow thou shalt thou and thy sons be with me. Yahweh also shall deliver the host of Israel into the hand of the Philistine. Now, uh, when you go into uh, Samuel, First Samuel 16, okay, tells you that the Spirit of the Lord was lifted off of, um, was taken off of, um, taken off of Saul. The Spirit of Yahweh was taken off of Saul. And basically anointed, uh, 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 it fell upon uh, David, right? But here, right here, it says, uh, verse 14, But the spirit of Yahweh departed from Saul, and the evil spirit from Yahweh troubled him. Okay? So, right there you can see, okay, Saul was going off in his uh, last portion of his life, right? He didn't do what the Lord said for him to do. He didn't do what Yahweh said for him to do, right? So he went off. Now, if he, you know, as as it is said, the wicked, this is what's going to happen to the wicked. If that's the case, okay, why didn't Saul go to hell if that was the case? Why didn't Saul, why was, why was Saul told that, look, tomorrow on the hereafter, you and your sons, okay, going to be here with me? Is Sam, was Samuel wicked? No, okay. So why 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 would he why would he make a quote like that? Okay, that's the um thing, right here. And tomorrow, shall thou, and thy sons be with me. Look, hey man, you can't jump around this. So if Saul was a wicked wicked one, right, or walking in the last portion, because look, remember what he did to David, and the amount of times he attempted uh, on David's life, right. If he, he, that's in the stead of wickedness, right? So, okay, how come he didn't die and go 
go go to hell. All right, as you would say, quote unquote, hell. When Samuel said, "When you die, you coming right back. You coming to where I'm at. Okay, where everybody goes. Okay. Not no fucking hell. Your spirit is gonna go up. The Lord is gonna say, you know what? Give him a body so he can burn in hell. This is the hell. This is the suffering right now. Okay. And moreover, that's a, when you're saying that word, it's going into a condition. And then when you go deeper into it and you go into the scriptures and you find out about Shaol and you find out about Hades, you find out about um, Gehenna where they burn trash and then later on they start burning their kids, uh, uh, sacrificing their kids, okay? All these things you got to go through, you got to study about, okay? And if not, if you're if you're if you're a good little boy, okay, in the sight of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, you're a good man, okay. Or if he wants you to get this, blessed is what he that readeth and those that hear these things, they shall keep them keep them to heart, man, right? Because why you gonna you gonna say to yourself, yo, this is some uh, this is some good food right here, this is some good work right here, you know? So what are you gonna do? You're gonna say, oh. Let me just dash for this food. No, you're going to keep it. You're going to attain it. You're going to eat it, okay? And you're going to digest it. So going back into the situation with Saul, if Saul was such a wicked man, okay? If Saul was such a wicked man, why didn't he go to hell? And then the the fact that Samuel said that you're going to be, right? You're going to be here with me, right? Proves a point, okay? Proves a big point. All right, that suffering and that condition of hell is here on this earth, okay? It's not anywhere else. Some, uh, you know, design space place, so, you know, it doesn't work like that, man. It does not work like that, right? So let's go to Job, and you know, the apostle other, and a couple of other brothers got this, but once you, you know, you gotta bring it out, okay? I'm just jump straight to point, okay? Job chapter 3 and verse, uh, you know what? Verse 13, for now, for now, should I have lain still and being quiet, I should have, I should have slept, then I had been at rest with kings and counselors of the earth which built desolate places for themselves or with princesses that had gold who filled their houses with silver or as an untimely this is where ours are as an untime, untimely birth i have not been as an infant which never saw light meaning like a stillborn you know what i mean there, the wicked cease from troubling, not talking about in the womb of a mother, okay? It's talking about death. You know, where you go after death, you're getting this, okay? There, the wicked cease from troubling, and there, the weary be at rest. There, the prisoners rest together. They hear not the voice of the oppressor. This is a, a, a important point right here. I want to keep this uh, actually up. I'm, I'm going to go over to the next one that I want to get because this one here ties in and keys in with what I want to get next, okay? Which was written. Okay. Uh, the small and the great are there and the servant is free from his master, okay? And we keep telling you individuals, look, when you go, there's no arguing. There's no arguing before the Most High, man. There's no arguing... <laughs> There's no <laughs> you arguing with, with some wicked ass neighbor that you had in the in the world or some chick that you were with and you're telling her, you know what, you you're at fault for my death and all this stuff and <laughs> blah No no no, you know you you know the spirits wake up and they get in an argument and you know I, w I wish I had kicked your ass when I was alive and this and that. That doesn't happen there, man. No. Okay? Everything's in this order, everything's in its stead, man. Okay? I mean, you guys use your, your 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 puny puny thinking, okay? Your your puny human thinking, base level thinking, 
to think about what's going on in the heavens. That's an insult to the Most High, man. You can't do that. Okay, better better you inquire at the mouth of his uh, uh, saints, at the mouth of his his angels, his messengers, his prophets. Okay. Oh, slack yeah. Damn, I'm supposed to keep that up. Cause there's a part action. That's why it's important to have different bottles. Well, I like I like having it because I can just, you know what I mean, switch in between. Whew, stinks in here, man. Mm -mm. I like them smell there. Mm. When, when we get the kingdom Akium, we won't have to worry about stinking smells like this. <laughs> Sitting here in the car and smell something frowny. I like it. Here's another part too, where Yahweh Shai is telling you that this little girl wasn't, um, she wasn't um, dead, as they would say. She was asleep, okay? Now, if she's asleep, that proves another thing that she's not, that she's not, um, how do you say, it, uh, rolling around in some hell. Or, you know what I mean? Vice versa. She's rolling around in hell, burning. and No. The Lord said that she's asleep. Okay? Let me get into this real quick. <sighs> meaning, Salakia, going back into that, meaning that she's not rotisserating in some hell. You know what I mean? She's asleep with the rest of the spirits going back into Job, right? Where everybody's, you know, where everybody goes. What's this guy doing, man? That's why I don't like ordering food, man. Salaki Akim. This guy's been standing out here the last five minutes with this food just floating around, you know? And disgusting, man. Let me get to this, uh, Luke 8 and 52, and all wept and bewailed her, but he said, weep not, she's not dead, but sleepeth, okay, now, the way that they try to make it seem is, when you die, you go straight to hell, the Lord is telling you right here, you at sleep, you at rest, okay, you at rest, and there's a, 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 a an abode where Apparently, all these people go, okay? And they're at rest, the wicked and the righteous, okay? No in-betweens. The wicked and the righteous, all right? So a lot of these individuals, you know, they have it in their mind that, oh, you see, he died, he just goes straight to hell. Oh, no, 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 he died and went straight to heaven. You know, my grandma's in heaven and, you know, and the, and the angels and... I had a dream and she was floating around. She was trying to tell me something. Listen, buddy, all that's bullshit. All that's that wacky tacky plantation Christianity thinking. That poison, okay? That poison's been fucking up our society for quite some time, all right? Which is no good, you know? And that, that wacky tacky plantation Christianity makes you think like that, okay? Now, let me go into the scripture in which I want to get back from Job. Uh, Proverbs 22 and 2. So let's see. I knew this guy delivered to the wrong fucking house. See, this is what I hate about these guys, man. Follow your fucking instructions, you fucking gimp. See, when I'm a delivery man and I'm doing this work here, I make sure that I get my shit down packed, man. Oh, that bitch's house? Fuck her. That woman's a cunt. Anyways, slack ya. Proverbs chapter 22 and 2. The rich and the poor meet together. Yahweh is the maker of them all. So it's telling you right there, the rich and the poor <laughs> meet together. Going back to Job, okay? It says the small and the great are there, and the servant is free from his master, okay? So, you know, there the prisoners rest together. They hear not the voice of the oppressor, okay? Man, this is it's very simple, man. It's not too hard, okay? The problem is, is when you get that wicked ass 
plantation Christianity coming up in the mix, that dirty wine, people start drinking it, getting drunk off of it, and they really, really, really think like, yeah, that's that's the shit right there. That's that's exactly what it is. Yes, you know. Their mind's been seared with a hot iron, man. The deceived and the deceived, the deceived and the deceiver are his. You know, it's all right though. Hey, we gave we give you, we give you what it is, through the scriptures, okay. We gave you what it is through the scriptures, man. You know. And, yo, did this guy just deliver to the wrong fucking house? Wow. Anyways, we gave you what it is, man. We deliver you what Yahweh Shem Shai has said to deliver. Okay? You know, and that's our job. We tell you exactly what the scriptures are saying. And through the best of our ability, you know, we do these things. Okay? With all our might, with all our strength. But here it is, you have, um, you know, that wacky tacky plantation Christianity garbage, that junk, trying to tell people something which is not, okay? And they're all falling for it. They're all getting drunk off that juice. You know, they're all falling for it. They're all getting drunk off that juice, which is no good, you know? But anyways, so it tells you right here, Proverbs chapter 22 and 2, the rich and the poor meet together. What, what 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 more do you want, man? So you had a rich guy that was a bad guy. You had a poor guy that was a bad guy. I guess they reached together in hell, right? Then you had a a, a, a a rich guy that was good and a poor guy that was good, right? And they, they go to heaven, right? Fuck out of here. It says what it says. They all meet together. Going back to Job, you know, same thing. But anyways, um, so this place that we've been sent, let me get two scriptures here. I know this guy fucking delivered the guy's pizza to the wrong fucking house, man. You guys are some assholes, man. Look, look, look him right there. Look your delivery man right there. Cause him stink, man. This guy's a poor soul, yo. You fucking poor soul. How you delivering a man's food like that and just drop? Look, that guy right there, eh? Yo, that guy right there. He delivered it all the way over there, man. Are you serious? Yeah, way at that. You see that house? You see those two houses with the with the stairs? Uh, it's a pizza, right? Yeah. A white box? Yeah, yeah. Right there. Keep walking up. You'll see it. Okay, thanks, man. The, that, that house, the two conjoining houses with the white uh, fence. Man's a poor soul, yo. I tell you, say, you see, this is why I hate this kingdom, man. The man wanted to order his pizza, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight houses away, the man delivers his pizza and sitting there like he's fucking high. How could you fucking miss that, man? God damn, man. I hate this fucking place. What do you think we're delivered into these bodies for this stress, for this hell? That was perfect, yep, uh, <laughs> you know, but anyway, Second Peter chapter uh, 2 and uh, 4, for God spared not, let me get this, hold on, for God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness, to be reserved unto judgment, okay, we all know what the big judgment that's coming, okay, yeah, how about Shem Shah is going to destroy this place with thermal nuclear fire? But we were we were putting these chains of darkness, this flesh, to feel those pains, those pangs, those eh, just like just now, perfect fucking uh, example, man. I'm sitting here looking at this guy delivering, and it's irksing me in the spirit because I'm like, this guy ain't even at the right house. I could see it. You know, he's standing outside. He's five minutes. He's over here. One minute he's over there. I'm like, what is this guy doing? You know, deliver the man's fucking pizza, right? But all those things right there, that's irksome, man. You know, you get up, you go outside, next thing you know, you found out, you know, your sister got shot, dead. It's the judgments, yes. It's part of the curses, yes. 
but it's also irksome, man, and it hurts within the within the flesh. How you think the spirit's gonna be like? The spirit's gonna be like, you going back to the Most High? <laughs> better, better, better you than me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or better yet, to say, you you're lucky because when you go there, there's no hurt, there's no pain, and you 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 in a good stead, okay? Because you ain't going off, you ain't sinning, okay? You right there like a baby right beside his, his father or mother, you know? You in good hands, as they would say. But here on earth, what happened? For God spared not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness. This, this, this flesh cast them down to hell. Here, this condition where we feel these things. It's quite fucking simple, man. Okay? I don't want to make this too long, so... Same thing, Jude 1 and 6. For the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he have reserved in everlasting chains on on under dark darkness unto judgment of the great day. Okay? And you know what that great day is, and you know what that judgment is. That's thermonuclear fire. And it's not gonna be funny. It's not gonna be something that you wanna uh, uh, dance around in and play games with. Okay? No. It's going to be irksome. It's going to hurt. Remember in Zechariah, it tells you that your eyes shall consume. Let me get that real quick. <laughs> Is that 14 and 12 or 12 and 14? Yep. Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away. While they stand upon their feet, their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongues shall consume away in their mouth. Now, that, that, that's a spirit into a body, okay? And that body, in that present moment in time, is fucking suffering, okay? You tell me that you this, this, this feels right. That don't feel fucking right. You crazy? You mud? Okay? That your eyes shall consume away in, 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 your, in their holes? And your, and your tongue in your mouth, your brain in your head, your flesh off your, 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 your... That's Sarah Parker dance, man. That's thermal nuclear fire. Okay? But anyways, as we were saying before, that hell, and, you know, these people just don't get the words, man. Because when you're really going into the word, it's really going into the grave, Sha'ol, in the dirt, in the ground, in the earth. Okay? Then they would say Hades and all this bullshit. And then Gehenna, where they, where they took trash and burnt it. And eventually they started burning, you know, their kids onto Moloch, right? Doing sacrifices. So don't let these little vo-crab vo and friends, okay? Vo-crab and friends. Don't let these crabs try to pull you down, okay? With their weak-ass philosophy. With their weak, uh, wacky taki plantation Christianity. Don't let crabs try to pull you down, you know? Because that's the main job when a crab's stuck in a bucket, right? You're going to try to pull down other crabs with him, right? Or other things, other items, whatever it may be. Best believe you, I get, yeah, I get pulled down with him, right? He, he, he's trying to pull you down too, okay? So with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Makakodash. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing his word. And all honesty, truth, and sincerity. Shalom Akim. I hope you're edified. Awa Abad Babal. Matthew chapter 24 and 13 to you all. Shalom.